Hey, I'm Justin Buckholtz here at ETR Truck Center in McDonough, Georgia. Today we're going to be demonstrating a C15 6NZ injector cup removal and installation. This is a core head. This is just for demonstration purposes only. And I hope you find this video useful. I would like to talk about the small amount of tools required to do this job. Uh, we need a hammer. We need a half inch ratchet with a one inch socket. We're gonna use just a regular drill with a wire brush on the end to clean the cylinder head after the cup is out. And then most importantly, today we're gonna to be using the Monaco injector sleeve removal kit. That's a part number of a 10222. Also the, the cat part number, if you want that, is a 9U6891. Uh, this kit has everything you need to remove and reinstall injector cups in a C15, C12, and a C13 cylinder head. So let's get started. All right, we're gonna start with our removal tool. This threads into the injector cup. The good news is C15 injector cups are reusable. So we're gonna thread this tool into the cup. And this is just demonstration purposes only. This is a core cylinder head. This particular cylinder is number one cylinder. We're gonna thread it in until it bottoms out. Slide this spacer in, another spacer. Bearing washer and tighten it up by hand. This is where your, your ratchet and socket comes into play. Very simple. Just rotate in a clockwise position and the injector cup is on its way out. It. you'll feel it when it breaks loose just pull it out by hand and there she is typically when injector cup o-rings are bad the customer's complaint is fuel in the cooling system a lot of times you also get coolant in the fuel but that's that let's get it cleaned up so as you can see, we've got some cleaning to do in the cylinder head, the casting area. Uh, first, I'm gonna take our drill and our brush. And we're just gonna put it down the hole and clean it up. You wanna get the retaining compound from the cup off of the bottom of the head where the cup seats any other debris that may be in there. Now these wire brushes can leave wire material in the head, so you want to make sure you, you give a good visual inspection. I like to spray it out with a little a little ether. It's good to go. You, you definitely want to let it let the ether dry for a minute for when the uh, retaining compound goes on on the next step. All right, we've got our injector cup clean. It's a steel cup. It's perfectly okay to reuse this cup. Now that it's clean, we're gonna install genuine Caterpillar O-rings. One small one on the very end and then we've got two identical o-rings that go on the upper edge all right this cup is ready for installation we're going to thread it into our tool we use to remove it and then we're going to talk about what kind of compound we put on this cup 
at the base we're going to use a loctite retaining compound it's going to go on the, the bottom edge just a good little thin layer of it on the lower o-ring and then on the top two o-rings i like to use the seal lock grip uh, i think it's a brand of loctite part number 30650 we're going to put it on the upper two o-rings thin layer on both o-rings all the way around now you don't want to overdo either one of these materials you have a lot of excess waste that you don't need and now the fun part simply gonna slide it down in the hole Push in as straight as you can, as hard as you can with your hand. I'm gonna thread a nut onto our tool. And the reason why I do that is we don't wanna mess up the threads on our tool. This driving bar here is gonna go on top of the nut. And we're gonna hammer it in until it bottoms out. And you'll, you'll hear it bottom out. All right, we heard it bottom out. It's, it's not going any further. So we're gonna remove our tooling now. And typically, if this was on a truck, a customer's truck, once you get all six injector cups in, I like to fill the cooling system back up with, with just regular water because you're going to flush the system anyways. And put about 12 to 14 pounds of pressure on the cooling system and you can, you can double check your work. You'll be able to see with the injectors out if an injector cup is leaking. Thank you very much. We hope you found this video helpful. If you did, like and subscribe to our channel. There will be more videos in the future. Thanks for watching.